first I check the, the victory conditions and is that after the end of five turns, if I control, if I have any good order MMC counter or MMC in ability hexes of M5, that will be this one, this one, this, 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 one, two, three, this, this one, not. I'm making a mess, but we'll see. This one, this one, this one, one, two, two three, and this one. If I had at the end of five turns any good or dream MC, I win. So, given that, let me erase this. Yeah. Erase, erase. Okay, that's easy. So, given that, I know what my mission is. I have to, to get one good or better MNC at the end of the game there. So I look at your troops and see that you have more troops than I do. I haven't really counted them, but they are more and with more firepower. So I just can't win in a direct fight. My, my logic here is to try to set up in this area This little guy here and try to delay as long as possible your possible routes of advance that I believe will be through here, maybe through here, through here, and in turn two, maybe through the forest. Just I believe that's the case just because of the there's more color in their forest and buildings. So with that said, I want to make some kind of delaying tactic here with these units here, blocking this side, the HMG maybe blocking this side, through here, the LMG here blocking any potential contacts and making a mess. Coming from the north, so that's that. And there's another thing that one special pool that I do not know how many half squads will will come from your side. So there's another plus to my my logic of yours, just delaying the the your advance that it's only bit inevitable, and then after some time, just retreating, pulling back, pulling back, and pulling back. Like this one, well, maybe pulling back. Because at the end of the day, if I just control, if I get totally overrun, but at the end, I control this building, for example, I win. So that's my plan. And for the position of the unit, this, these guys, um, just in the buildings uh, with the heavy machine gun in P5 or Q6 or P6, there I would have uh, a bigger uh, area of fire. But as the Americans begin moving in this scenario, I, I suppose that I'll just get uh, shot to death by your longest long range units they're 666 so one is just to put them a little bit big bit back so i don't give you that free prep fire so you have to come to me get closer within my range and then try to defend and after i possibly get overrun back and try to defend to make a last stand in these buildings uh, also get I get some kind of reinforcements coming from the south line, so we'll see depending on how they exactly where they will. That's that for my thinking in this setup. So the Germans set up first in this scenario. They obviously have to have some sort of drop back defense, or otherwise 
hold fast and take as much damage from the Americans as they can. And hopefully there are reinforcements coming on, which are off board here. Four squads, a powerful medium, and a very strong leader, 8 minus 0, to hold these back buildings. At, at, at the very least, hold those back buildings from uh, G3, which is the furthest one from M5. All buildings within three hexes of M5 are going to be the objectives. Well, of course, just like Eddie said, American firepower is very high. We got 666 squads, good ex good smoke exponents, mediums, good leadership everywhere on the board. Nine minus one leader over there. Most likely, hopefully, he won't break. The first turn's reinforcements down here come on turn one. So right in the beginning of the game, they get reinforcements. They have just a couple of squads. But the nine minus two is the kicker. He is going to be the difference maker in the entire game. And as well as some of the minus one leaders. The minus one leaders will help reduce those stone buildings into wooden buildings, essentially, with a minus one modifier. But the minus two can be able to shoot through just about anything. And with the American firepower behind that, he's going to be the key to the American victory. If he goes out early, the Americans may have to change to go to desperation mode. But we shall see. In terms of, okay, uh, that's just in terms of raw firepower, in terms of getting into the village if the Germans are still there. As you can see, the uh, American 666 has a distinct advantage over the 467, not within range, not within morale, but within firepower, and that firepower makes a distinct difference when you go into close combat. So if the Americans should happen to make it in close combat, we can look at this close combat table over here. Oops. And the Germans will be attacking at a one to two ratio at best. So they would need a four to four to kill. But the Americans would attack at a three to two and we need a six to kill. So it's a high probability that the Americans are going to be doing some damage. But that doesn't mean the Germans want to avoid close combat by any means, because if they both miss with which a six is actually an easy miss, but it's better than nothing, uh, then that's one more turn the Americans are going to be stuck in the same spot, not firing anywhere else. So that might be uh, an option the Germans have, is throw bodies against the, throw bodies against the wall and see what happens. Uh, but you never know. You never know in this game. HMG is key, of course. 7 firepower, rate of fire 3 is very key. And that will just keep firing and firing and firing. And that's uh, with a 8 minus 1 leader with him, that's very dangerous. Very dangerous, especially with no real cover to speak of. So we'll see what happens. Uh, my turn 1 reinforcements come on N10 and to the right. So on this side over here, the entire way down. So if we want to enter them all over here, we could run them all this way. Distinct possibility, you never know. And then just push into the town from there or uh, just make pressure on this side. So we'll see what happens. I'll think for a couple minutes, and then uh, we'll get to it. Okay, rolling a six in the beginning, I get three of these half squads. So we'll just throw him right there. So these are my forces coming on. Fine, so we can set these guys up to get annihilated. Lock that. Flip these guys over. <coughs> I'll just put them right here. 
And these guys I think they're gonna go right. Hmm. It's an interesting scenario. Five turns? Six turns? Five, five turns. Wow. Five turns, yeah. Okay. Six morale is not that good. All right, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it. This guy will come over from over here. And that guy will be up there. He'll be there. Rally phase one. So. <clears throat> Ready. So uh, I'll just give a synopsis of what I'm looking at here, even though, go ahead and like mute your headset for just a second. And then, uh, and then I'll see it on Discord and then you can pop your head headset. No worries. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now Eddie's muted. So my plan here is, is with the, my eight zero and the three four sixes. These guys are going to enter an O ten and make my way into the just an O ten, and then what they're going to look for is they're going to look for opportunities when units break to charge at them. And how are they going to break? They're going to break by this nine minus two and the stack of death over here. This is my hammer squad. I'm not going to put the 9-2 in that wooden building in 010 and just pot shot the 7-0. I'm going to punch squads in there and punch them there fast. I've got... Uh, he's got a lot of firepower, but I'm going to use my 9-1 my up on top here to destroy anything that comes my way. I need that medium machine gun up top to check the road in the back on K3, J2, and I3. So he's going to advance forward and cut that road off so no, they can't just free move onto J3, K4, L3. They might get back in the back woods, but that leader needs to stay up there. And the problem is when I split that leader from the two, two, two six, six, sixes and T7, that means T7 has no leadership in case they break which they're going to probably be taking a shot from the 467 and P1. So that means I, I have to as assign the 8-0 leader or the 9-2 leader. The 9-2 leader is going to hopefully make it to R7 in turn 1, and he's going to advance phase into Q7 in turn 2. I hope to get 2 to 3 to 4 squads in the Q6, Q7, P6 area on turn 1. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Pressure the American, pressure the Germans. So therefore, in turn two, when these guys come on, the Germans will react to my initial presser. They may overcommit to the middle, and then I could take my turn two units and drive them down the left side of the board. And we'll see what happens with that. So here goes nothing. We've got, thanks to Eddie, we've got our turn marker here. Where we'll get our phase marker. Eddie found this for me. He is a life sand. He is a genius. And we also increase the dice size so we can use the dice in the game. Uh, again, large, longest 50 point marker there. I'm just going to leave that there. And here we're just going to erase. Erase that one. Okay. And so here we go with the game. Uh... Hey, there you go. Hey, I can unmute you. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Oh. So, um, yeah. 
So rally phase is where I set the units off off board. So uh, yep. these guys will just set up like boom right here. And then uh, I have no other rally, so I'll go to prep fire. All right. Let me, let me angle this up a little bit so everyone can see the prep fire. And we are going to, yeah, we could prep fire him. We're going to prep fire these units here. <clears throat> Excuse me, all all four units will fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I, I guess we have counters for that, huh? Uh, prep fire. And now we'll get some first fire markers out here a little closer. Couple preps. All right, so these guys will prep. All of them will prep. And um, all of these guys here will prep, and we'll fire at P1. So it's oh, going to be, so it's going to be uh, 16 firepower, plus three for the stone building, plus one for the wheat field. But I have a minus one leader, so it'll be a 16 plus three. Oh, all right. Okay. So um, that's a big chart. Let me get rid of that information there. So let's go. Let's go with that. So sixteen plus three, and let me see. We got to highlight those, and then double R, right? Yeah. Double jump. Eight, eight, eight. 10, 11. So that's a pin task check. Okay, let's move up. Better than nothing. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Okay, the pin's good. Ten, so, pin. Let me pin him. Oh, where are? We? Won't smoke, close combat. Okay. Very cool. So I, uh, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. Okay, and then that that's going to be it for the prep fire phase. We're going to go to the moving phase. Incoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go... Uh, We're gonna move the three, four, six first. We're going to go. Oh my goodness! Hold on. I wish that guy broke. He needed a break first, to be honest with you. So. Oh, it won't matter. So let's let's move this guy first. So we're gonna to go to one here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go. Two. All right, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll make the shot with the oh. P1 guy. Okay. I'll get the so first fire player. Uh, two. Two minus two? Yes, sir. Let me go. Rolling. Six. Okay. That's a four on the two chart. One makes it a chart. one more chart. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there's no heat of battle, right? That's a, so that was a triple click there. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so so he's good. Uh, you can uh, you can leave residual there if you wish. Just one residual, just to. Right, go. There we go. Okay. And then we'll move um, four right there. Hmm. No, I, I wish. You will not shoot or you will shoot? No, I won't. I won't. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. So um, next units will move. We'll go one. Mm-hmm. Two, mm -hmm. three, four. Now I will shoot with the unit in P3. Okay. So that will be an eight plus two. Okay. Because in a moment, let me roll the dice. One, two, seven. A nine on the eight is a pin task check. 
That six barrels at the best, but we'll 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 try it. Oh, he makes it. So it's a pin task check. So it's oh. not a morale check. So he makes it. Oh wow. He makes no, it. That was kind of crazy. All right. So we'll do uh, four residual. Yep. Okay. I'll grab the residual. Okay. And his mark. Do you know how to copy the 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 counters? No, I have been trying, but don't find how. Because uh, it says you can copy them, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. Copy and then like paste another guy on there. So okay, four residual. That's a lot of residual though. So is there any other fire on that guy? That's a lot of residual. No, that's it. Okay, great. And then um. Okay, this other six 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 will move uh, one to S seven. Mm -hmm. Two to R six. All right. <clears throat> Three okay. to, to R five, and then we'll move. Um, We'll move a three, four, six. All right. We'll move two. Mm -hmm. And then, then he'll stop. All right. And then we'll move. Yeah, we'll move the stack. We're going to move the whole big, the big shebang. <laughs> so that'll be one and a half into U10. All right. Three into U nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, we can make this happen. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll try to shoot with the 467 in L7. Okay, uh, let's see if it... I don't think it'll hit the... Um, I don't think it'll hit the other wheat fields. Not a clear. Okay. So that'll be... Oh, that's pretty cool. There to there. All right. How do you make it? Uh, it's just the... Um, on the arrow, you go to the ruler, the line, fourth one down, and you just left, you just left click. Great. So that's pretty cool. We use that to fire now. That guy fires on that guy. That sort of thing. Okay. So that uh, the 08 is missed. So that'll be a what? Two minus one. Two minus one. Yeah. Really? One two. Nothing. Okay. Mark him. Oh my goodness. Oh, I actually shorted. I thought that guy could reach R7, but I completely miscounted that. I completely miscounted that for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that's what happens. Okay, so he moved. He was up there, fired. They moved. Um. Okay. Uh, he'll assault move. All right. Here. And then he'll assault move, mm -hmm. and then the leader will assault move as well. All right. So we got okay. yeah already miscalculated. I, I, honestly, I didn't think I'd make everyone up there, but hey, it's a long game, right? Or actually, a short game. <laughs> Only five turns. <laughs> five turns. <laughs> so, uh, so I'll just move the residual off to the side over here, and then um, go ahead and uh, it'll go to defensive fire phase. All right. So, I'll fire with two. Oops, oops, oops. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the double oh. arrows on that. It's pretty nice. All right, so it'd be K8, the whole stack, versus your both 10 stack. All right, sounds good. So it would be... Uh, 
seven plus four. Yes. Very cool. Marking. I'm still trying to figure out how to copy this. Copy. How would you copy? No fire. No rates of fire. So we continue. <clears throat> I'll see a paste. Yeah. Your hand is huge. How'd you get that one? Well, okay, now. Ah, decisions, decisions. Oh, sorry. Okay, all right. Now I'll file the O6 through Q6 with the whole stack. So okay. The, 11 plus oh, 8 plus 2, right? 8 plus 2 sounds good. Rolling. Oh, sorry. Oh, 7. Pin test check? Nice. Okay. Okay, there we go. And on that 6 6 right there. Oh, no <laughs> snake eyes. That's crazy. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even notice if you got rate of fire. Did you get rate of fire on that? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. And uh, on my last shot will be with the N6 to your stack in 010. Okay. The 4 plus 2. All right. Plus four. 4. Plus 4 plus. Gotcha. Oh, I'm sorry. 4 plus 4. Oops, sorry. Rolling. Five. Nothing? Yep, that's a way off. Okay. okay, cool. Cool. So as as the game progresses, I'll move this the, the quick the quick guide in a little closer. That way we can see it more easily. Wow, very cool. Very cool. Wow. Well what? so that's the end of the the fancy fire. Okay. I'll just move the dice here for right now. All right. And uh yeah, these kind of these are awesome. This is the first time we've been doing this. This is first time live. This is great, great, good stuff, good stuff. So great. although it's kind of cluttered on the board, I just want to make sure it kind of shows up on the um, on the screen. So advanced fire, we are going to go wrong way. Okay, boom, advanced fire, got that going. Let me uh, take the counter set. Right. Okay. Cool. I'll help you. This no. is great. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Boom. Oh, stack them up. Good deal. Rack them and stack them. So uh, these guys are not going to affect anything down here unless they roll. That'll be that'll be three, four. That'll be four plus five anywhere. So that's not going to affect anything. Uh, I've got nothing in range that actually a pin tastic will make a difference at. So those guys will not bother to fire. The nine minus two will might as well fire since since I saw you since. You shoot a maze. So the MMG may not fire since it moved, but I do have three American squads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, hold on a sec. Oh, that's pretty close. No, that'll be that'll be blocked. Okay, we'll fire back at you in L7. All right. So we've got over here so all those are halved and then halved again because they don't get the assault fire because it's out of normal range so it's three six nine halved again would be four and a half and then with the minus two so be four essentially a four plus one back at you great okay so and here's our dice that's awesome i like the triple r that's, that's really cool so let's go up Ooh. Okay, nine, no nine. effect. I like that's really cool. I, I just threw them when I was playing earlier. I was just throwing them around the board. It's like, man, how's it going to keep track of the dice? But yeah, ours good. I think you told me that. I'm not sure. So he fired, and then we'll fire. Um, 
Uh, let's see, six, eight. Everything. Yeah, if we fire everything, that should be pretty decently. I think it'll make a difference. So if we zoom in here and we fire this unit at six, assault fire will be plus one, may seven. He'll be three, be 10. He'll be essentially four more because halved and then plus one would be 14. 14 plus four uh, won't really make a difference, but it'll fire anyway. All these guys will fire 14 plus four because they have no other, other real targets because he's kind of far away on the four six seven here okay. so and where's our where's our handy dandy dice oh really cool oh my <gasps> gosh oh no four uh plus four is an eight on the 12 chart is a one morale check oh my gosh really let's, yeah let's do it eddie show me what you got really Oh, oh, shake the board. <laughs> shake the board. I'm tipping the table. <laughs> That's a seven, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a seven. It's kind of jacked up, but it's a seven. So it's going to fall. The three is going to fall. So, you know, you know. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so he, he breaks by one. So at, both you and I have an ELR of three. So we'll have to really keep an eye on my guys because my morale is only six. So... Well It'll be easier, much easier for me to, to ELR fail than you. So that's a good result, turn one. Oh no. Man, this is this is this game's already getting crazy. It's all getting hot and heavy. So that's yeah. th that's all advanced fire. And then we'll go to route phase, which um you have one guy. I'll take this prep off, stick it up there. Okay, so this guy will move to O six. Okay. Ooh, and that's it. Okay. Let me grab. Oh. Let me grab pinned counter exhaust cover in this smoke mode. Let me get a couple of preps. Put them over here. And residual. Okay. That should be good for right now. All right. So and then we have route, and then we have advanced phase. I keep moving it the wrong way. Advanced phase. So. That bad boy is going to have some pressure on him. Let's see, we can all go. I don't want to all go there. That's not a good spot. That's only six plus three. Yeah. So we'll split these guys up. One guy will go here. One guy will go there. And this guy will go. Yeah, we'll just put him right there. How about that? Yep. And then this guy will go. Ouch. Here, we'll spread them out here, here, and there, and then big boy with the big britches. Let's see where will he go? Let me, let me clean the stack up a little bit. There you go. Those guys will go there. Actually, not a good spot. They were an S8, right? Yeah. Wow.
Oh. Let me think about this. I think your guys over here can get away. I'm not sure if they can or not. Uh, I get a couple shots on them. I get a couple shots on them. Do I want to take that much firepower? Three, six. Yeah, we're going to S7. Right there, baby. Right there. All right. right there. All there. And then these guys are going to advance as well. Wow, that's six more else garbage, isn't it? Come on, come on. No, no prep bar. There we go. Boom. They're going to advance here. <clears throat> yeah, we're good for there. Uh, right. No, no, we'll stack them. We'll just stack them. We got nothing to lose. All right, good there. Enough wasting time over there. And that's all my advancing. And then close combat. Oh, oh I actually hit the right way. Close combat phase, there is none. And then rally phase, flip that. Boom, German turn two. Or German turn one, my bad. Yeah. So we can flip this over here. And those guys will be coming on turn two, and your guys will be coming on turn two as well. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll try to rally this guy with the with one leader. So it will be he's rallying with a plus plus two. Sounds great. Okay, rolling, please. Oh, ah. that helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so no more rallying for me, but I don't take the DM morale because he's next to a. Another MMC. That is correct. So that will be the end for my relatives. And you said you've only been playing how long? Maybe three weeks. Three weeks? I think this is my fourth game, yeah. Fourth game? Oh my goodness. Okay. Good deal. <laughs> oh, you're pretty sure. <laughs> right. Your setup's pretty good. For for have you played any other tactical board games like this? Squad level? Uh, well, board games? No, no, this is my first board game. Oh my god. I played some Combat mission on the PC. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Good deal. Excellent. So Excellent. that's that. Nothing else. We move to the red fire. Okay. So we got all your units on the board. I'll put my guys on the board there. there. Everyone will be on the board right there. Okay. Let me move the tracker. Ooh, again. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Huh. Do. Okay, hold on. Hold on one sec. Yeah. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself, and this is the way I kind of wanted to do. I almost forgot. I'm gonna mute myself so I can't hear you, and then you're going to give your reaction of what you plan to do based on what I did. You know what I'm saying? And so based right. on based on where I am on the board, you're gonna give your sort of like on the fly. I need to do this this turn or I hope to rally this guy or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So be like a quick one minute, two minute thing and then just message me in the message me in the uh, let me see. Uh, and then I actually have the questions to do, do the strategy VODs. Just message me actually. All right. Just message so, me in the general. Just message me in the general section. Okay, we'll do. And then, um, but I'll mute myself and then just just tell me when you're ready and then I'll unmute myself, okay? And then I'll do the same thing when, it, when, um, when you're done. All right, cool, here we go. Okay. Is that this stack here in I've got my headset thing? off, so don't worry about oh. saying, but I had to get the mic on. All right. I can't hear you. 
so. I think. Oh, crap. I think this is the most dangerous stack here. So. I'll try to bring it down eventually. I don't really know how. No, how now. Mm, so. Given all the movements, my plan is just to keep holding on the position here and try to destroy these guys with these guys. I'll try to fire here just to avoid some fire group shenanigans here. And with the heavy machine gun in the middle, I'll just try to hold on as far as I can. Uh, I'll just try to hold on. And with this little dude here given that he has his whole stack here I'll just I'll just shoot for it so that's good Okay, good deal. Yeah, I muted my headset and then I noticed on OBS that desktop audio was gone. So, so I can't have that happen. <laughs> so, very cool. All right. And then um, go ahead and mute mute your mic, mute your headset, rather. Hey, Dave, how's it going? And so, um, let me. And so, uh, turn one turned up really good for me the uh my i decided to take my three four sixes on the bottom down here and uh hopefully use those again for a disengaging or maybe a charging force in case the four six sevens happen to vacate these buildings here or these buildings here my nine minus two i made a mistake i thought that he could go the entire way to r7 this turn but i screwed that up because r7 would be a perfect shot down the road instead i moved him into s7 so he could get a shot off at P1. I'm not going to point to it because it might, he might see it. He's one, I want him to get a shot off at P1, as seeing as my units in P5, P6, and Q6 are in a in-your-face position on the 8 minus 1. He has to, the 8 minus 1's got to do something, either run back or take a shot at me. And uh, I'll probably, I'll most likely break and most likely ELR being that's going to be a whole ton of firepower, but at least he didn't rally that unit right here. At least he didn't rally him. That would be a world of hurt for me. But hopefully I'll, I'll be able to break that unit up top. It's going to be long range for my 666s because they only have 6x range. I think it's a 7x range there, but that'll be a 12 firepower plus 1. That should be enough to break the unit up top. When the unit in P1 breaks, the units in S3 will bust ass to try and get to the M4, L3 locations by the end of their turn two. If that can happen, I have a chance of really pinching the Germans off in this one and just annihilating the central group. And then with my top units over here, uh, I can hold off with enough firepower, hopefully, the units as they enter K2, J1, I2 over in this area. So we need to get over there fast because we can't dig them out later. And all they have to do be is broken. So that's my synopsis right now. I do get more reinforcements on turn two. And then I have no clue what I'm going to do with those guys. I'll see what happens in the German turn. All right, back to the game. Uh, hold on. Let me try to unmute him. Cool. That's it. Hey, Dave, are you here? Can you hear us? <clears throat> well, Dave's in the room with us. I'm not sure if he's having technical issues. Okay, very cool. And so what? Uh, and uh, oh no, he jumped up. So the other thing, the other thing I would like to do typically mm -hmm. in the game is say like we have um, guys that are watching. Oh, he can't get into a room. I think I think there's four room. Dave, where's Dave? Hold on. I think he should be able to be in the room. Did you set up the room or did I set up the room? I'm not sure. I guess I did. Okay, but yeah, but um, what I another thing I want to happen is have the 
players any any if we should happen to get any viewers right what i would like them to do is between like the end of the turn uh any sk players ask any questions they have like oh why didn't that unit break or that sort of thing so that that's that's an on that's an ongoing development i would like to have to make it more hands-on so people would uh are willing to ask questions during the game like if they want to ask you a question as a german you'd pop out into a i'd pop out in the room and then or i would just drop my mic and then you could it would record you and your conversation with the people and then if they were to ask me a question that you know just to pertains to the game then i you know it'll it'll show because based on my obs so that, that way it kind of more like an interactive type of game thing uh where we're playing because sort of like a learning kind of display sort of thing is any little questions that may come up because i always have questions when they come up and um uh, it's just good to know that everyone has questions and all questions are valid so anyway here we go with prep fire sorry that's about that easy. delay yeah no no problem so that's that's kind of my idea it's fr it's fresh it's something fresh i've never seen done before so i think uh, i think it has value it's a good idea so starting with this guy gotcha will fire at the whole statue yep because it's a four they're just a four right yes sir all right rolling to dice <gasps> oh is six that... okay it's a normal morale six. check six. oh it's gonna be rough all right, we have a nine. But do you get the? No, no. I think. What's that? It's. A, I think it's a PTC, because as as they are. Oh, you coward! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Even, yeah even better. Good, good, good call. Good call. Good call. So that uh, the four drops from a six to a two column, because of the cowering, and it's a pin test check. Very good. Very good call. Wow, you're on top of things, Eddie. You're on top of things. So I have a. Uh, I have nine morale six uh nine morale and essentially a seven and a seven so we'll do the uh nine morale first leaders always first five and then we'll do the medium the machine gunner and eight which drops to a seven so he's pinned and then the Oof. and then the uh, the last unit oops Whoa. <laughs> he uh out. ten so both of those guys are pinned Oh, I'll just get another pin car. Well, at least they're not broken. That was a morale check that if you didn't cower, they'd be broken, right? Very good shot. Very good shot. I just had to take it. So now let me check. Uh okay no. So now these guys in QA8. Yeah, just, the, just those. Okay. No, never mind. So, the K8 and L7, they will, will make a fire group. Okay. And they will shoot to the N9. So, that will be a 7, 8, 11, plus, just plus 1, right? Right. All right. Um. Well, yeah, I think so. Plus two. It might Good. be plus two because of L seven, but so it's, a, it's going to be a one morale check or a normal a level one morale check, a normal morale check or level one morale check at least. But I think. No, it's only going to hit one. Yeah, 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 that's only one. That's only one. I thought it would. I thought it would clip it right here, but there's no way. Okay, very good. Good shot. So it's a six, a seven on the eight chart is a one morale check, right? There we go. One morale check on that. So right in the middle. So we'll do the triple, triple whammy. Triple R. And nine is going to be an ELR failure because that is a, a one morale check. It means you need a five and that's going to be four above that. So we have to replace him. Oh, oh wow. I'll have to dig out the I'll dig out the dig out the tray. Three four six goes to a two three six. Interesting. Interesting. Here we go. Okay. 
heal our failure. Gone and flip. And then, oh, heal the DMT. The, oh, cool. Inspiration morale. All oh, right. So. Okay. So now the guys at N6 and O6 will make a fire group to fire to B6. Okay. So that will be 15. Okay. Plus 2. And uh, I'm sorry, no, I have to roll it. Yeah, roll he's it. a bunch. So it's 15 here and 4. 19 plus 2. Hold on. You fire both okay. these guys? Yeah. Okay, that's 11. And that's going to be doubled for adjacent, so it'd be 22. I'm sorry, yeah. And then this got to be 20, it will make it 25, which is essentially 24. But you won't be able to apply your leadership modifier because there's not a leader over here that can direct him. So oh, you're right. that'll be a 24 plus 3. Ooh, wow. If you want to fire on that chart. It, it doesn't really make much much sense to make the, to add the N6 guy, right? Um. Once you hit, technically, once you hit the, the eight column, every four firepower you add is like a minus one. So since you only added one four firepower attack over here, and you lost the minus one, it's the same thing as this guy attacking by himself, in terms of like probability wise. I didn't know that. So the so, just... so the twenty plus two is the same thing as a twenty four plus three, unless you roll super duper low. But you know, it's all up to you. Oh, well, so in that case, I'll just shoot with the with the guys in the O6. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Rolling. Light dice. Every time. Yeah, roll that. You could roll that one again. Roll them both. I don't care. Sure. Yeah, that one just like stuck straight up and straight up on it. Every time. That's okay, six. six on the twenty plus two is an eight. Is a two morale check, and you got Raider fire. So he's going to do a two morale check, which is pretty bad. Five. Oh. Oh, he breaks. No ELR <laughs> failure. So that's the best we can hope for, to be honest with you. That's the best we can hope for. So I think I I'll shoot well I didn't know. I'm thinking should I fire again with the heavy machine gun? Mm. You'll still have your leadership modifier. That's a decent chart. It's up to you. Yeah, right. Your it's choice. It will be at twelve. Yep, twelve plus two. But remember, my morale is eight. He has an eight morale because he's broken. Oh yeah. For the Americans. No, you know, I, I I won't risk it, so I won't take the another shot. Okay. And lastly, I will shoot with the N six guy to the O nine. Okay, sounds good. That's. Four plus one. It's rolling. Okay, that'll no. be off. Okay. That's nothing. All right. Put fire marking. And I think that's it. Okay. For my put fire phase. Nothing more. Sounds great. So your movement phase is only essentially your six plus one. But he won't move, so there's no point. Okay. Defensive fire phase. There you go. Okay, these guys are going to do nothing. Uh, two plus four is not going to do anything. I will fire these units, and both of these units here. Okay. On these guys right here, this unit here will be six firepower. This unit here will also be six firepower. And so it'll be 12 plus three because of the stone building. Okay. Oops! <laughs> Whoa! That leader, that leader likes likes to fly up in the air. Likes to fly. Uh, five, eight, five. eight, and twelve. So one morale check. So starting with the leader, oh, no. 
You do your morale checks. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Okay, then you can do either one. For a second. Yeah, okay. So, he breaks, right? Yeah, so he'll break, yep. And then you could roll the broken guy first or the unbroken guy first, your choice. Okay, let's let's go for the unbroken guy. Okay. Roll. Okay. So so he'll break. Oh man. Oh uh, no. No. And now the last guy. And now the broken unit and he is a seven base morale. Okay. Oh my god. Six, Six. seven. So he's fine. Wow. I thought he'd be I thought he'd get uh, reduced. Okay, cool. So uh since your un since your unbroken unit broke, you don't have a leader loss task check due to your leader breaking so so that's very cool wow that was crazy that's a good shot all right and uh let's see these guys oh they're all pinned uh they got one two three four five five three six eight okay these units here mm-hmm these guys here will fire. Um, oh, that'll be six. Be six. We're gonna fire there. We're gonna. That's going to be. The center's probably about right there. It's about right there. Let's see. If, let's see. It. Move this counter here. Yep. Oh yeah, it's, that's out of the way. So the center's about right there, to right there. That's it's clear, but it does hit the orchard. So yep. three, six, seven, eight, plus three. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with all the pins, that was, was an excellent shot, by the way. So eight plus three, not the best shot, but we'll take it. Okay, ten, a no effect. All right. And then these guys down here, the nine minus two and the entourage, will fire up at P. Uh, hmm. This guy's a pain in the butt. We're gonna fire at P one though. All right. So that is going to be it's gonna be long range for the squads, normal range for the medium. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be seven hexes. So it's three, six, nine, plus four is thirteen. Plus one, so it'll be a twelve chart plus one. All right. And triple entendre. <laughs> yeah, everyone flies. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, that'd be a one morale check. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I why I got to pick it up. Here. So <laughs> everyone's flying. Up. Uh, oh, oh, and that'll no. and that'll that'll ELR fail him too as well, because that means you need a six to roll and then you failed it by uh, failed it by four. So wow, that's. <laughs> I, I don't know why those guys keep jumping up in the air. That's funny. So this would be... It's a... Four, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so he'll, he'll uh, degrade to a four, 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 seven. four seven. Correct. All right. Whoa, 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 no, no. Four, four, seven works. Okay. Nope. Okay, on the way. Perfect. I'm broken. Oh. Yeah, I wish I knew how to uh, to, to, to clone to that. That's yeah. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. See, all these guys are broken. He's broken. Okay, cool. It was a terrible phase for me. And then, uh, the, like I say, the three, four, sixes got no firepower, so they won't fire. So that'll be it for um. That'll be it for my final fire. So you've got no advanced fire because everybody you had fired. So, yeah. so advanced fire, and then we'll go straight to route phase. And so it's your player turn, so you have to route first. Okay. So I'll route all these guys to here without the machine gun. No, Correct. Take it back. 
Not enough. Yeah, that HMG is yeah, great, portage but it's four portage points. So, one here. And. One here. Okay. And that's it. That's it. And. Uh, and the P1 guy, he, he'll just stay there. He'll stay there, okay. Uh, this unit here will just simply go back here. And uh, the unit in P6 will stay there. Actually, actually he will route. Mm -hmm. He'll just stay there. Sorry, he'll just stay there. Okay, advance phase. Hmm. Can I try to to break the the, the support web, weapon in your rally phase, or it has to be on my rally phase? Or? No, for you to m intentionally malfunction. For as far as I understand. If you want to intentionally malfunction a weapon, you have to be in possession of it and be able to. It's like firing the weapon. Right. So if you had possession of the weapon, then you then instead of firing it, you can say, "I'm just going to mount the weapon or destroy it." I guess you just straight up destroy it. All right. So. But I I can double check that. I'll double check that. Keep thinking. Voluntarily destroyed by their possessing unit during the prep fire or defensive fire phase, but such a, such an action counts as use of the support weapon. All right. All right. I just want to make sure it was consistent. There are so, there are very subtle changes, but yeah. Very subtle changes. Okay, so no advance, no advancing for me. So that's it. Thanks for watching the first couple player turns. If you like the video, please check a like. If you dislike the video, click dislike. But above all, if you have any comments on the video, please leave them below. So hopefully, I can improve this stuff and maybe get something new out to you guys. This is the new format I'm kind of trying and um still more changes to come hopefully i'll get some player interaction some spectator interaction with regards to adding questions during the player turn pauses so um i will catch you on the next phase the next turn i think it's turn two and then we'll go from there thank you for watching